Hi everybody, happy Friday! Today it's time to paint another Grimm's fairy tale and uh, it is the wolf and the seven young kids this time around. Uh, don't worry, I'm not always gonna have fairy tales on Fridays, but currently I'm just in the mood to paint them, so you might have to bear with me. Also, I added a new camera, or not a new one, but a second camera to recording, and if you like this style of video a tiny bit better, let me know in the comment section below, because uh, then I would, well, adjust the way of recording videos to your preferences there. Um, so I did work with acrylics in the book again and I this time around I pretty much except for permanent markers I only worked with acrylics. And um, <laughs> funny enough though I had the uh, first layer painted before I knew what kind of a um, uh, fairy tale would come up so I just worked with it in the same way like I work with my Palettendreck builder. So the color there, the blue, is maybe not fitting perfectly to the story, but um, I saw something in the first layer, which is the eyes of the wolf. Hence I just worked with it and just added color to have a very goofy, cartoony kind of a wolf that is knocked out there on the page. So I did just work with, uh, if I remember correctly, three blue colors. It could be four. Uh, you have to look it up on my blog today. There's a material list and uh, what I take, uh, like the story or information about what I take from the uh, fairy tale, what the moral of the story for me is, what I think about it, stuff like that. It's all on the blog, so you might want to check that out after this video. The link to the webpage is in the description box below. So I did let this layer dry for a bit and uh, then I added the very red, very bright cadmium red tongue. Like I said, the wolf is knocked out, so he's like, oh, and I wish you could see me now Well, I was over because I just made the wolf face, but you can't. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> well, you know, you know where I'm coming from, probably. It's like the cartoon kind of a way to depict uh, somebody's um, knocked out there or super drunk or something. So I did add the tongue, like I said, and then once the acrylic layer was dry, I did just go in with white and black permanent marker to add the pupils and the um, reflection in the eyes and a tiny uh, enhancement of lines here and there, just to have a bit more, like I said, more of the cartoony look. I just liked to work with that style this time around. And uh, well, that's that's all that is to this painting today. Um, some of the fairy tale paintings are going to be a bit more sophisticated, some are not. And sometimes I'm just gonna stare into nothingness with... Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to cut that part. Oh boy. Anyway, um, so yeah, so sometimes I feel like having a very cartoony style, sometimes more uh, whimsical kind of a style, and, and that is what I like about this book that I'm creating here. It's all the kinds of things that fairy tales remind me of, or what I associate with them, and what kind of style I associate with them as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching along. I hope you're going to have a lovely, lovely weekend and um, have some time to, well, relax and maybe create something, paint something that would be awesome. Or maybe color something that would be cool as well. Uh, have a lovely, lovely weekend, folks. Um, enjoy your time. If you uh, would like to do me a favor and comment in the uh, comment section below if you like the second camera and um, well maybe give this video a thumbs up if you liked it enough. I would very much appreciate that. Bye!